Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video edition of Photoshop Elements. Now, in this edition, we're going to talk about something that everybody likes to use that makes your pictures look extremely uh, out of the ordinary, I guess. Um, it makes them look very expensive at times, and I'll tell you each and every part of that here in just a minute. First, if you enjoy this video tutorial, please stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, and look at the uh, DVD collection I have for you. If you want to learn Photoshop Elements, then learn it with my DVDs. They're, it's a great collection for you to have on your shelf. Uh, if you ever think you want to uh, know something, just revert back to one of the videos on the DVDs. And there's uh, if you drop this pull-down menu down, there's tons of ways to purchase these things, and I do keep them relatively inexpensive for you, just so you're able to pick those up. Next, I wanted to mention to you, I do a live show every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what this player is on the right here for Jack's Tech Corner. You can also go to justin.tv slash Jack's Tech Corner on Sunday morning. I have Skype open, so you can actually Skype in, uh, phone calls, take phone calls, and, and you can check these out if you're just coming by this YouTube channel. Check them out here on YouTube, and you'll see all the live shows I've done up to this point. So again, there's a lot of great information here. Uh, if nothing else, you can also join my Facebook uh, group. It's Jack's Tech Corner. Imagine that, right? Very easy to join. So let's go ahead and get on with this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about something that a lot of us wish we had in our camera bags, but you may not be able to afford them. Um, I've never purchased any and I've been doing photography now for about 10 years so I can't believe I don't have any of these and I may be looking for some very soon but I found a nice way to do this with your photos that doesn't cost you anything because you have Photoshop elements what I am talking about is photo filters and I was blown away folks how nice it makes this picture look this picture is pretty nice anyway it's a very nice Amish country setting uh, we visited probably in Sugar Creek, Ohio, is where this is. And we were visiting, and I, and I snapped this shot here when we were walking down a path. It's got a lot of character to it. It's a very, very nice shot. This is something you'd want to hang on your wall. Now, if we go right over here beside our new layer pan on our mask, and click the little pull-down menu here, and it will say, create a new fill or adjustment layer. And click on down here towards the bottom it says photo filter and I'll point this out you'll see this going on here now in photo filters it's going to start with a warming filter on top but folks just watch what it's doing to this picture this is totally amazing I'll click off the visibility layer and you can see now how it looks if you look at down here you see there's not much uh, coloring coming through not that there will probably be coloring on the road anyway but it makes it so much warmer if you turn that filter on and you can see it warming up there and just how it's casting that shadow even nicer and you can go through each of these warming filters and try all the different ones that they have to offer then go into the cooling filters the cooling filter gives you that kind of a blue cast uh, but with that blue cast on these black carts I thought that is pretty amazing that's a really nice shot so once again photo filters they're built in there they're kind of hidden right nobody ever plays with them but this is just like putting the filter on the front of the camera so who carries all these different colored filters around really I don't and I like I said I've been doing this for a while there's a different cooling filter you could do reds so if you want to bring a little bit of the red out of the barn maybe you maybe you use that filter but it doesn't destroy the picture it makes it look really really nice and it's just putting a mask on in here with the uh, coloring on it there with the filtering color and the density what I like to do with this density is turn it up to about 65 if you really want to see now you see some deep effects let's go back here and look again at this warming filter you see now you're bringing that density up you're bringing it and, and giving it more deep color and this picture is just amazing I'm actually, as soon as this tutorial's over, I'm actually sending this out to have it blown up to a 11 by 14. Now there it is in blue. You can see it's really heavy blue. There's a lot of blue tint. 
If it's ever too much for you, just turn back your density. Just turn it back a little bit more. You can take some of that out or raise it. Maybe you want more. Maybe you say, boy, I want that to be even heavier. I found, like I said, 65 is a good starting point. There's a different one there. A little bit even more blue cast. A little bit of red. And you can see the red really brings out that picture. It really looks nice. So play around with each one of these. Pick colors even though you think I, would, I wouldn't use that color. There's some green. You know what I mean? Pick some colors that you say I wouldn't use it. Blue. Um, Magneta. We can go down to deep reds. So yeah, just try them out. You know what? This is the fun part about about the editing and Photoshop stuff is we can play around with our pictures and learn and do different things with them. And I tell you what, it's a good time. Here's a deep emerald. I mean, it, that's pretty neat. That's a neat shot. Um, and underwater. People say underwater. We're not. A, it's not an underwater shot. It's a land shot, but. The underwater color, the colors of the water, especially if you go around the Bahamas and stuff where the water's real clear and you can see through it, it makes a nice um, filter for your camera to cast that coloring onto your picture itself. I think actually I'll probably send this one out, this warming filter. I think that's the nicest one. It makes it really, really uh, a, a nice picture. I, you can feel the warmth coming out of that picture if that doesn't sound too weird. Uh, so um, it's a very, very good picture. It's very easy to do and it only takes you a few minutes to play around with your photos to make them totally your own and uh, try different things out with them and you know what I always say is make them a conversation piece okay folks so remember that website jackstechcorner.com if you like this short video tutorial jump over there and pick up the three disc set is 112 videos 112 Photoshop elements videos from version 6 there's version 6, 7, 8, and there's some uh, there's some 9 there. Mainly 6, 7, and 8. But the tutorials will work on any version you have, so don't let that bother you. Uh, it'll even work on future versions, 10, 11, 12, whatever comes out. These tutorials will still work for you. Okay, so as I always say in all my videos, see if I can get it here. Always keep those shutters clicking and keep the editors editing. And I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.